King Tide is here, and that's how fast it's going. Chris Brandt, the Beef Shaman here out in San Diego Bay. We got ourselves a King Tide today. Big one. So I'm fishing a different area than I've fished before with the flow tube. I'm excited to show you what's gonna happen. So I am near McCall Street in Point Loma. That's where I parked. Super nice access here. I, I like this. This is easy. So I've never really fished a king tide knowing it was a king tide before. And uh, I'm out near in America's Cup Harbor and gonna head out into the main bay. I'm gonna start out using the, uh, the gulp minnow in the smelt color like I talked to you guys about before on an eighth ounce jig head. And uh, the meter said it just went from like five feet to 16 feet. This close to the bay, to the beach. Again, I've never fished this spot, so I don't know what to expect. First cast. Oh, there's something. Not three pounds, but that's a nice fish. All right, heading out towards the big bay now. I caught one fish here, missed one, but I don't want to get distracted from my goal, which is to go out there. I want to go over there. It popped. The risks of six pound test. I'm not crossing the bay. I just noticed a giant thing of like kelp and weeds right down the middle of the channel. With a big Navy ship coming in, it's not worth the risk right now. I'll do it a different day. something Get away from the, the pilings I've already broken off several fish today fish 13 inches there we go
Nice, another nice fish. Not even getting to the bottom here. It's 25 feet deep. They're just hanging out next to the dock. So I'm basically swimming it at about 10 to 15 feet in depth. Open. Nice one. Beautiful fish. Ruin your day. Great fish tacos, but I don't, <laughs> I'm not putting this in my little bag next to my leg. So it can spine me all day. Beautiful. So originally I wanted to go across the bay and fish uh, by North Island. Um, but there was just too much stuff in the water, too much, uh, vegetation due to the king tide. And so it was clogging, um, my little, uh, thrusters. So I came back here and I'm fishing the docks over by the, uh, the Harbor Patrol or Harbor Police. Having a lot of fun. So again, it's about 25 feet deep right here, right now. And not quite getting to the bottom but uh, getting pretty close. There we go. This does not feel like a bass. But it is. Another chunker. Look how fat that thing. Beautiful. Tiny mouth. Beautiful. All day long. Normally I target them a lot shallower than this. Well, it sounds good this morning. It's Sunday morning. Got my little blue bag. How about a Bloody Mary? If you haven't tried the Cutwater cocktails, canned cocktails, you're missing out. This is the Spicy Bloody Mary. Formerly Ballast Point, if you didn't know. Most people do in San Diego, I think. And the actual balance point is right around the corner. You do need to shake well. Oh, it makes my mouth water just smelling it. It does have a good amount of spice, heat. So this is with Cutwater Vodka. It's a 10% beverage. Two shots of Cutwater Vodka, spicy cut, spicy or Cutwater Spicy Bloody Mary mix. Shake well. Mm. Look better on a Sunday morning. Got that at the uh, local bottle shop, so you guys can check those guys out. I do like to have a little uh, Tecati with my Bloody Mary.
super great Bloody Mary taste. Nice and thick and viscous, which is how I like. I don't like thin Bloody Marys so much. The one thing I really like to do, once I get halfway down on each, Now I have my michelada. Ta -da. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. That is a tasty beverage. Pumpkin. Good bait, but mackerel. All right, so I'm enjoying my Michelada here in America's Cup Harbor. And uh, fishing kind of slowed down, but that's okay. I'm gonna head out and try some new areas, try fishing some of these uh, docks. And uh, <laughs> it's rough living in San Diego, isn't it? What'd you do today? I had a Michelada down on the bay. Ooh, where'd you do that? On the water. Well, on a boat? Not exactly. At a restaurant? Not exactly. Well, where? Huh. Got this robotic lounge chair I ride around the bay. <laughs> this is nice. Here's the Hodor. Impressive. What's that? Impressive. Is that George R. R. Martin's boat? Yeah, it says Georgetown, yeah. and it's Hodor from Game yeah, of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, that's, that's an exceptionally good guess. So I'm like, huh. I was yeah. looking at that. I mean, that's a, that's a super impressive vessel for it to be a privately owned vessel. It looks more like a research boat than anything else. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. But I mean, if you got hundreds of millions of dollars to go, what am I going to use this on? Then yeah. huh. it's crazy. Yeah, you too. It's fun looking at all these boats. Ships, pardon me. Ship-faced, poor decisions. Great names. So, I got one more, uh, one more beverage for today. We'll do it from a different angle today. Got the King Tide going and I was at the local bottle shop last night and I noticed an amazing thing and that was turbidity out of abnormal abnormal is one of my favorite uh, beer companies uh, turbidity is a hazy double IPA um, we spent years tuning this recipe to create not just a delicious beer but a great base that enables us to make specialty variants for you to enjoy a base of Cascade lays the foundation while Simcoe and Citra round out this juicy and dank hazy double IPA. We add oats and wheat to create a pillowy body to support over 50 pounds per barrel of that hop medley. Nice. Turbidity by Abnormal, 8.5%. Now I've had this beer before and I love this beer. It is dank, it is juicy. Oh. It's kind of that everything you want in a double IPA. 8.5% alcohol, big mouthfeel, good enough bitterness that you know it's a double IPA. Oh. 
Plus, it's a king tide and there's so much crap in the water that I figured <laughs> this would be the best beer for the, uh, the actual day. Awesome. Super juicy and floral. Definitely tropical fruit notes. But it's still west coast enough that uh, if you like a good IPA, it, it's going to it's gonna suit you well. Pick some up. Time to go catch some more fish. Wow. There's something. I'm hoping. Mac is back. I know where to come to get mackerel, that's for sure. Alright, gonna try one or two more spots and then head in for the day. Caught some fish today, had a couple of nice beverages, tried a new spot, which is always good. Saw some amazing watercraft and uh, just happy to live in San Diego. <laughs> Way. That's something. About time. The winner is a big melt. It's about a day. I'm gonna go home and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. See you guys next time.